program today, including right now as we head on over to the Wood Harbor Kitchen and visit with Winnie Moranville with some great food. Hello and welcome to Great Food. I have with me Chef Lisa Laval, who is the creator of Trellis Restaurant in the, Des Moines, the Greater Des Moines Botanical Gardens. It's perhaps the freshest restaurant in town. Welcome, Lisa. Thank you for having me. It's great to have you. Now, you have a really cool tagline for your restaurant. It's creative cuisine from the plant world. So tell well, us, uh, you know, sort of what, what you're up to there. Well, the Botanical Garden is obviously uh, the epitome of our local plant world as, as we're structuring it. and the renovation is marvelous. Um, I was actually not trained as a chef, but an art major oh. and a physical education major. So I get my artistic outlet, uh, outlet with making food that's hopefully going to be attractive to look at right. and um, creative, delicious yeah. and somewhat healthy to eat. And, so. and inspired and creative on top of that, which is, which um, is very cool. Now, I wanted to show a, a picture or two of, of the restaurant because right now is a great time to be there. Um, there's the, the indoors, which is, you know, always lovely, and it looks out over the Des Moines cityscape as well as the river, which is so pretty. But what's great for summer is your outdoor patio, which there it is. I, I just think that's such a, and you have the umbrellas, so we, you you know, we don't have to be in the sun, but it's such a pretty patio and it's right in front of the river. And, and it's just beautiful and the sunsets are beautiful. And uh, so uh, we've decided to be open on Thursday evenings. Oh. So I want to kind of pitch that from 4.30 to 6.30. So small plates, drinks, and just that's a perfect time to be on the patio. Absolutely, um, and right after work, right people after downtown, work. it's sort of like, hey, let's go to, let's go out. So Thursday nights, 4.30 to 6.30, how, how late will you be doing that into we'll the season? We'll do that um, into like the first week of September. Oh, great. Early September. Oh, that sounds so, so great. So super, all right, so what are you making for well, us today? Well, I thought we would just try to make, or, or just make a little salad. Um, I've been making salads for years and years for lunches, and sort of my philosophy is if the salad is going to be your lunch give it a little body just don't right. eat rabbit food um, because <laughs> exactly. because then by f four in the afternoon you'll yeah. be craving something out of the vending machine yeah. or something that's or in my case by two in the afternoon yeah all right, <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> but seriously I, I've always you know you were at the art center for many years before you you came to the botanical gardens and I always admired how your salads were really fresh and hearty and healthful and beautiful but oh. you know but they really did keep you sustained through the day and that's the idea yeah. just put a put a little uh, complex carbohydrate protein Protein in there so that so that you've got a balanced meal and not just pick right. away at, at a salad. So exactly, I thought I'd just make a little yeah. homemade vinaigrette. Oh yeah, super easy. Um, we I always put a little brown sugar in mine oh, yeah. because um, otherwise it can be almost too austere. Yeah, that vinegar um, can really kind of excuse know, me. Tart uh, things up. And mustard, the Dijon mustard is the secret ingredients because that is what basically emulsifies the vinaigrette so that the oil will stay suspended and that's super important. Pepper's oh, yeah. always great. Got to have a little salt or and it'll I be see flat. See kind of a flaked sea salt you have or yeah. Is it, yeah. Yeah. Like, you yeah. can um, you can get real snotty about salt if you want, but um, <laughs> a little kosher salt does the job because right. we have so okay. many other flavors going on. Okay. And then um, um, vinegar, vinegar is like one of the most wonderful things in the world, and uh, you can you can make your own. You know, right. have the the apple cider vinegar, and you get the mother, and which is a kind of that foggy little wispy oh, yeah. magic. That but it's super healthful. So it's just so, something to keep in mind if you like to. And get what into kind of that. vinegar are you using there? I'm using um, a little bit of um, just apple vinegar. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Just, I'm, I am a big fan of balsamic, okay. and, mm -hmm. but that's a powerful, powerful it, thing. And so yeah. during this time of year when you've got all these fresh herbs coming out of your garden, mm -hmm. I don't want to cover up with balsamic. Right. I'd wait and put that on a winter salad when, you know, you're dealing with potatoes and... Yeah, uh, and your greens aren't as fresh. You know, sometimes yeah, sometimes yeah. it's a good way to kind of cheat the greens a little bit. Yeah. You know, you're getting the trucked in greens rather than the fresh it's, and local greens, then use balsamic vinegar. Exactly. That's what I do. Yeah. Right. But, yeah. but the greens now from people's gardens are right. so... Uh, delicate and flavorful. So um, now here's my trick: how to how to do the oil and the vinegar and the mustard at the same time. And yeah, thanks. Kind of emulsify it. So um, as you can yeah. see, I was kind of dumping um, 
equal parts of mustard and vinegar and then um, probably five times that amount of oil. So your to ratio is five to one. Because everybody has a different ratio of, of oil yeah, to vinegar. Yeah. Mine's three to one. Three oil, one vinegar. But uh -huh. sounds like you like five to one. And well, you're the chef. Well, <laughs> so. it depends on what you're dressing. Mm -hmm. We're dressing mm -hmm. real delicate, lovely greens with some fresh herbs in it. And I don't want to over vinegar it. Right. Um, and so that totally you taste vinegar. And of course, I don't want to taste too much mustard. But I also kind of go by the by the look of it. And then, of course, um, the pinky test, but I oh, wouldn't yeah. do that today. <laughs> we wouldn't and, mind. No, all right. But then, yeah. then to round out the salad, then I just um, put a little on the on the greens, and you um, you don't want to, of course, um, drown them. Right. Because you can well, always add yeah. a little more. Absolutely. So if they just oh. glisten, then I think they're about right. Those greens look beautiful. I love that. These look Those, like, um, I'm going to stick my finger oh, in Oh, yeah, there. yeah. Oh, that is, oh, man, that looks so good. Oh, and they're Swiss chard mm -hmm. now. The local, mm -hmm. the local growers are mm -hmm. delivering a lot, and we're so lucky. I love Swiss chard. Because this is chard. something we didn't have 10 years ago. Right. So to make the salad more of a lunch and not just um, a side salad, I had brown rice, which I always keep on hand in the restaurant because mm -hmm. gluten is a, a big issue for people. So uh -huh. brown rice is a gluten-free option. It's a nice, complex carbohydrate. It won't fiber, <laughs> fiber, all the above. And I had um, mint and cilantro, other mm. herbs. So just chop them with the um, with the rice, or perhaps lentils, or yep. perhaps mm -hmm. you name it. Well, you always have something that that again makes it hearty. I was looking at your a recent menu. You have power pack salad with broccoli, quinoa, chia, flax seeds. You know, so you've got those grains and then all the vegetables. And so again, it just just tastes so good and fresh, but also mm, hearty. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, people can feel mm -hmm. confident that they're going to eat something healthy and right. Um, Another thing on that, there's a, an Anasazi, did I say there? Anasazi yeah. wild rice beet salad. So you've got the wild rice and the beets and the carrots and radishes, speckled beans. And Anasazi is the name of this bean that I've mm -hmm. been able to find. It's a beautiful, big, sort of like a pinto bean, but super creamy. So oh, as a cold, even as a cold bean, it's... Right, it's kind of meaty. Yeah. 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 Oh, that sounds so good. So, so and then you've got your finishing and touches then just, here. I just brought some vegetables. I think, I think... Um, Cooking and salads should be sort of like an art project, so use lots of color. I think you get more nutrition if you use colorful vegetables, just kind of a rule of thumb. So That's right. these are nothing, um, you know, normally you'd find in anybody's uh, refrigerator. So mm -hmm. some blanched broccoli, some carrots, and, and uh, the other point about the salad is I think the good idea is to toss the greens with a little vinaigrette and then you can put these heavier things on top because mm -hmm. as soon as you start eating your salad the heavy stuff's gonna drop to the bottom anyway. Right. And yeah. then a few tomatoes. So this is like a oh, real yeah. basic salad but um, a, a really good server where we were at a restaurant said well the first taste is with your eyes. And yes. So what Absolutely. a good way to put it, and so hopefully the first taste is with your eyes. That is beautiful. Um, and then just to round out, just sort of the, the, the full meal aspect of a salad, I love to put nuts and cheese mm -hmm. on just basically anything. Mm -hmm. So um, I just had some you know, slightly salted sunflower nuts, and once again, they should go on top because they'll drop to the bottom. <laughs> Absolutely. And then um, what isn't better with a little shredded Parmesan? Oh, yeah, so, um, exactly. So basically that's it, and hopefully it'll look attractive to you. And um, it looks as I said, it each very bite good. will be kind of different. Mm -hmm. You and never then, get bored, you know, it's like, because there's always something it. else going on in each bite. Yeah, yeah that's exactly yeah. right. Well, you know, we should also mention that you don't just do salads. I mean, because right. if you're one of these people who has to have a sandwich or something hearty, you do pasta as well as sandwiches. Mm -hmm. And you're, in your menu, like I say, it's one of the freshest restaurants in town. You change it every week or month. every, yeah, every month. month. Yeah, so it's like, you know, always rotating a lot and, you know, lots of just good things coming in, whatever's in season, mm -hmm. which I like. And one of the things I absolutely love is how you can get half of ha half orders of things combine two half orders so if you can't oh, shoot it's thanks. pick two it's so yeah. that's always fun too gives you a little variety yeah exactly so anyway trellis at the greater des moines botanical garden